my first edible this is a funny highlight or a uh, uh, thumbnail was there anything else oh yeah let's do, let's just do uh live stream fails real quick this is just gonna be quick uh, i think we're gonna skip a lot of this video because this is like ice poseidon talks about exposes adrian who cares we don't care about that we talked about that a little bit yesterday this is destiny clips okay what's this though okay i'm in the might oh, be on. my impression yeah, of ludwig is like sometimes go case opening here we go. Nick CSGO case opening. I I just talked about this yesterday. He was doing he's been doing this nonstop, bro. You have to shake the case to get the to reason why he's doing it nonstop and everybody else is doing it nonstop is because they all want to get access to CSGO two. Gold or CS two. Okay, I'm shaking it. Shaking it for Gold City. Shake it. Wait, lifting timber. It's going and the down. way the way streamers who aren't already given access to it get access is by getting their viewers to the juiciest uh, cases. I'm yelling, Timber. She wants to ride this chocolate. She's oh. in my house. She's going. Never mind. All right, Nick. <laughs> She's going nowhere. <laughs> I kind of missed Dude. that. Uh, Dude, you should uh, write songs for DJ Khaled. Holy. <laughs> What was that? Uh, cancelled case. <laughs> and the cancelled well, case. See, Rex are getting his Twitch partner application rejected. They will beg me to take their check mark. They oh, this is the CEO of Amaranth. This is the guy that we saw the clip of on Mizkif's stream the other day, where he had Amaranth there, and then he made that joke about like, oh, if he just wants to learn about women, just go and watch a couple Aiden Ross videos. They will get um, down on their hands. I think people like this, and uh, just to, to speak to what I said a minute ago about Mizkif getting special treatment and stuff, and like people in Twitch liking him, I've seen people get partnered that were like denied partnership status just because Mizkif like either had them on his stream and then they get partnered after that, or because he just vouches for them. I like Wake. Wake is like nonstop denied partnership, and it just doesn't make sense. Just recently, Ms. Kiff started being like, it's ridiculous that Wake's not partnered. I bet he's going to get partnered soon. I honestly think there's somebody at Twitch that, like, doesn't like Wake. It doesn't make sense. And beg me to take their check mark. Like, he was a part of one of the biggest Twitch events, uh, Camp Canute, last year. And he's, like, not partnered. And I will say no. But wait, what, what was this point? And knees take their check mark. They will get down on their hands and knees and beg me to take their check mark. And I will say no. If they don't start appreciating me, if I don't start feeling appreciated, I might go to kick. <laughs> All right. He's, he's acting like he's a big streamer. <laughs> he's like, hey. Hey, Twitch, you don't want to fuck a pot in me. I'll go elsewhere, okay? And they're just like, okay, go. Like, you're going to make it cheaper for us to host Asmongold's stream with that he doesn't monetize at all, so thank you. Back. They're hoping people go over to, to kick because you guys know that Asmongold goes live on his alt channel where he doesn't get subs or anything like that. I'm fucking five steps ahead. And he's literally just costing Amazon money I'm by the going live. Reality check. But hey, you, Twi you Twitch is just like, yeah, go There's over to Kick. Like, Make it cheaper for us, please. That Vicky really wanted. She wa There was. I am the fucking reality check. Hey, you. Yeah. Wait, oh, CEO of incels. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I like. You know, I need to follow this guy. I like him. He's funny. I'm the Reality check. I like hey, this you, dude. You Big time. Hold on. There was one like stuffed toy that Vicky really wanted. She won. <laughs> and I just didn't look until we actually got there. And she said straight up to the cashier, she said, I want the baby Yoda. And I didn't look at it. I just assumed there was a baby Yoda. This is to her what baby Yoda is. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Europeans, man, they don't know anything. Oda block gets all of his OSRS <laughs> accounts banned after the recent. Learn <laughs> Star person. Wars before you come over to this that, fucking country, uh, all right? That all my accounts have been serviced on, and uh... oh, the bomb, the the having to wait ninety days yet yeah, to reapply. Yeah, you can keep reapplying for partner. 
Or, yeah, um, you can, but that they, doesn't mean they, you're they not going to get denied that, in 90 uh, days. That I've spent over 400 hours of my accounts being serviced. And that's why it's not a temporary ban. Also, they're claiming all this information is from a year or two ago. It, that's so f weird. You guys can't Wait even a minute. Deny that this food. is like his main thing. This is like all Odablock does is play RuneScape. Weird. What? So you guys are going to go back a year or two ago to get, just to get me banned. It just goes to see, show you that to try to shovel anything just to put me to the ground. I mean, yes or no. Don't lie, boys. Say it how it is. I don't care if you don't like me, but just say it how it is, bro. It's obviously a targeted ban. It's obviously. Like, let's just get that out of the way. Let's just, let's just get that out of the way, bro. It's 100% targeted. 100% a targeted ban. 100%. I the, highly doubt and, he would like, be doing it's just, stuff it's so sad. like like uh, hacking or like uh, exploiting things in the, a game that he literally makes a living off of. If it, I it, doubt it. Who knows? Cool maybe. Stuff. But that just does not seem like something he would do. Uh, uh, actually, somehow, I don't believe you at all. Your instincts are spot on. Like, there aren't a lot of hands. You have Ace King, obviously. There aren't a lot of hands that you would just go three straight. The bomb, you'll hit. Like, you'll hit affiliate. So okay, I don't know. I, I'm hoping to hit partner too. That's something that's I don't know if I'll ever reach either. But we'll get you to affiliate, man. Just just be live when I end stream one day. All right, we'll get you there. Hands that crush this board. What? So wait, what was there this clip? It really is. Magnus calls a bluff. Uh, oh wait, is that what it was? Because it, okay, I missed that part where it said he was suspended. Okay. Oh, I don't believe you at all. Your instincts are spot on. Like, there aren't a lot of hands. You have Ace King, obviously. There aren't a lot of hands that you would just go three streets with. Wait, Aaron. Magnus like, is playing so many of these poker now. Hands that crush this board. I just don't believe you at all. It's this is the problem. The fact that yep, just that got... happens. Yep, and it's it's a good thing. It's a it's a good thing. It's better to have like real uh, real followers. But I've been hit with like at times with like thousands of follows at once, and within weeks Twitch gets rid of them. Okay. Really wow. That's just that's how yeah, it goes. Like, I would spend time literally getting rid of them myself. I would go into my follower list and I would block them. If you block the bots, it removes them as a follower. Not just banning them from your chat, but if you actually go and block them. And then I realized that like Twitch was just gonna get rid of them all for me. I was like, one day I was sitting there and I was like 50 in out of like the thousands that I had got hit with that day. And I was like, this is a waste of time. I was like, I'm just gonna let, let them sit there. And then Twitch got rid of them. It has to be a fact. There's a tool you can use uh, called Commander Root where you can get rid of bot follows, but people have used that tool and accidentally clicked the wrong parameters and it gets rid of every single follower there have been streamers that have lost like hundreds of thousands of followers gone to zero because they clicked the wrong button so i just don't even you're in this hand i don't even mess with that like but i just don't believe you i don't believe you at all good wow what a call what a call like i said the bomb just just be live one of these days when I end, which I know that's really fucking early in the morning. But just do it, and uh, yeah, it'll it'll. Wh what metric are you missing? Is it the followers? He's locked in there for the shot. Okay. Or is it the average? The shot helped you. Because if but it's I the got, average, I like I said, well, that will we just gotta just Go gotta hit you with a raid a couple times. Do you guys see anything Because I had the followers forever, but the average was hard. What is this clip? Go checking what is inside a guy's pants. Uh oh. You guys see anything weird? That's weird. You have, you have the, you have the, the car. That's sexual assault. You do have it. Go look at that was that sexual assault right there it's in 4k what a weirdo cyberpunk 2077 shows what the true next gen looks like but diala is super taxing holy sh look at the lighting there god damn
Dan beats the hardest challenge. Like that doesn't look game. that much crazier than GTA 5. I don't know. Is this is this just Cyberpunk with max like ultra graphics? Look at the lighting there. God damn. Dan beats the hardest challenge in the video game history. What game is this? Here it is. Five hours! Five this, hours! This looks like Terraria. 78 million! Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. What happens? Holy wood. It... What happened? What is that? Anus major? Yes. What is that? Yes, the anus major. Yes. What is it? Animus mate. What is that? What? Is this is this explained? Ladies and gentlemen, 173 hours, 350 attempts. They said it couldn't be done. It took. I'm telling you this, chat. I've I've been fortunate enough. I've spoken in front of a national audience television this was 18 million times harder than any if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to drop a log and if you want to keep up really the hyped up cyberpunk and it didn't level to live up to it all i mean like the gaming up. company themselves hyped it up too like for 10 years it's gonna be like the best game just like no man's sky it was gonna be revolutionary for games and a lot of people ended up criticizing it just because of the bugs and stuff that that were released with the game it was just like unplayable for some people I didn't really experience any of those bugs. I just hated the game, the story, the dialogue. It was just like Atomic Heart. It was just so much fucking talking and dialogue I didn't care about. Whereas like Red Dead Redemption, there's a ton of talking in that game and I love every moment of it. Every single word I'm, I'm drawn in. Cyberpunk, I was skipping through every single dialogue scene. And, and on top of that, I didn't like the combat. The combat just wasn't fun. Whereas like Atomic Heart, the combat was fun. I, that's why I kept playing the game. I enjoyed it. If it was multiplayer, it would have been way better. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Done. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Awesome. Getting banned. Um, I wish they made a VR game like Ready Player One. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. VR just in general. Really cool. Kind of makes me sick though. Like I, I'd be worried that I would like get nausea playing it too long. Bro, what the f I agree with that, science. So much so that Zoop in chat, Mod Zoop, wrote a whole essay about how it was like one of the best games ever created. I agree. Um, okay, so that was that. Let's just see if there's anything important on LSF we need to know about. And then I think we're just going to play World of Warships for a little bit. And then Expedition Agartha. Wait, really? She had to actually take nausea medicine. The reason I say that is because I remember Milena, she played it once. Like they played, I think it was Phasmophobia and she had to stop like, like 30 minutes in because she was going to throw up. And she was like, the rest of the stream was like NMP playing and they had like the full game perspective and then like the, the cam showing them moving around in the room, like their room with the VR equipment and Milena was just like sitting in the corner. So, and I know me with my stomach that I, I think I'd get like nauseous, but I, I want to try it. Oh, Hollywood would fuck that shit up so bad for sure. Beat Saber. Yeah, see, that would be so fun. I can't do VR either. Yeah, fucks you. Yeah, I would imagine with your stomach issues even more than mine. Like this, this you know, listen, yes, I don't want to be a cancel Andy, okay? But this fucking take from Sunny is absolutely unhinged. That sh What? How is XUC worried about that take canceling him? Is he really worried that he has a bunch of like unhinged reactionary freaks in his chat that are going to hate him because he's standing against transphobia? What the fuck, dude? Like th this, you know, listen, yes, I don't want to be a cancel Andy, okay? But this fucking take from Sunny is absolutely unhinged. That shit is balls the fucking... Balls are deep, piped up. I don't know what the fuck I just listened to, man. Like it. Bro. Bro. I... There are a million... Explain it. There is a million things that happen in people's private lives that change the nature of their content, behavior, and personality. So therefore, the content that they make, right? And that's just being... 
that's just being a human. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. It's called human experience. And sometimes it shapes and goes through ways, but saying, oh guys, him being himself and doing the thing that he needs to do, well, that will affect the views and people watching the videos and it'll, 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 it'll ruin the videos. His personality is going to be different, lol. It's just like, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck is this shit? Already watching anyway, and if we've... Uh, Mr. Beast responds to people making videos about... Okay, let's just see what Hassan had to say about it. V2 video came out. White Chris will soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. Okay? And Mr. Beast responded to it. So, uh, this this uh, link says, This new Sunny uh, V2 video feels really invasive for all the wrong reasons. Like, why did you make this? You delved into the man's marriage and shit. It's just really off-putting and unnecessary. Mr. Beast responded and said, Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. I can tell you without a shout, without a shadow of doubt that he's been seeing this shit and he's very frustrated. Yeah. A sunny V2 sure. video came out. Why Chris will soon. Um, XQC's girlfriend talks about the relationship. Extra Emily. Okay. Yeah, XQC. Oh, yes. That's crazy. Wait, you like XQC the most? No. I mean, he's funny, but I don't like watch him. I still want, I only watch him because Kai's an app. Now, that guy's kind of funny. Yeah, oh, funny. W I'm viewer? I'm actually FCC's girlfriend. Really? What? Really? Uh-huh. How's that like? Oh, just like... How often do you talk to him? I talk to him maybe like once a month. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. so you guys are deep. It's basically the same as him and Def's relationship. Mm-hmm. How long has that happened? You got to imagine, like... Like, I only stream seven to eight hours a day. XQC going 14 plus hours, doing 24 hour streams. How does he have time to like do anything? What, like, I've been dating since, uh, you gotta like uh, schedule sex at that remember. point. A month? It's been, oh, I was gonna say, it's, so just we talk, once. We talked once. And then never talked again because you said once a month. Yeah, so. It's, um, that's crazy. How, how did yeah. you? Okay. Um, Emily talks to Dan Clancy live. Clancy, Emily. Hi, Dan. I have, I, it was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. God, no. No! Okay, maybe it won't be that bad. Maybe it won't be that bad, but this is going to be weird if the CEO of Twitch is starting to be like, hey, invite me on your stream. Let's talk. Like, that's no, bro. Nobody wants that. CEO of Twitch? Yeah. So, no way. I'm, I'm hanging with Miz, and you called him, and he said, well, let's go on our stream. <gasps> yeah. So I'm hanging with Miz. I'm done. I'm going to kick. Sorry, guys. Sorry guys, we're putting up, we're putting up with the bigotry, we're putting up with all of it, we're going to fucking kick, I can't handle this anymore, I just, I got, I got way too cringe right now, cringed, I can't handle this. Yeah, I'm, I'm the CEO of Twitch, they, I guess so. Yes, Dan, of course, congrats on the, the new position, I hope it's going great. <laughs> I don't want to talk to it them. Was, it was, it was great <laughs> meeting you, have a, have a great I, rest I, of your meeting. I can't talk to Ms. Kid. No, Ms. is doing big business stuff. Oh man, it's a good thing. Bye Ms. <laughs> I don't want to talk to that dude. I don't want to talk to him. Is that what he just said? I don't want to talk to that dude. Clancy, I don't want to talk to. It that was. Dude. It was great. Wait, hold on. I hope it's going great. I don't want to talk to. It was. It was great. Have a have a great I, rest I, of your meeting. I can't talk to Miss Kid. No, Miz is doing big business stuff. Oh man, it's a good thing. Bye, Miz. He's having a Clancy, meeting with Dan Emily. Clancy about the importance of. Uh, of uh collaborating with other streamers dan clancy's like yo i have this like revolutionary new idea miss kiff you got to start like having other streamers on your stream and doing content with them just like we saw there was that clip of dan clancy yesterday where he was like yeah it was crazy we had s fan sitting on this couch live casting the sports game and he just had other streamers popping in and out and talking and this is the future it's like yeah bro we know this what are you talking about Give us our 70-30 split back. Fuck. Oh, my God, dude. 
Ah, oh, so stupid. <laughs> yeah, collaboration. The future of Twitch. Hassan discovers that the new Twitch CEO watches him. Oh, God. CEO defends job cuts and plans oh, to meet God, with creators. Oh, God, here we go. Uh, apparently, in this article, he also says this, which I thought was interesting. Not a gamer himself, Clancy mostly watches musicians or talk shows on Twitch. He particularly enjoys leftist political commentator Hassan Piker, who has 2.5 million followers on the platform. I like the frankness and the bluntness, Clancy said. He's comfortable saying what he believes. Okay. Okay, but Dan Clancy, how do you feel that Hassan recently was uh, exposed as being a third of the uh, contributors to Amazon's union uh, labor fund? How do you feel about that? Are you cool with that? As the person that got rid of the 70-30 split, do you, are you cool with that one? That's crazy that Hassan is funding that. This has not been a good week for me. <laughs> with respect to how people are mentioning me in the media... First, I was outed as uh, the the largest individual donator to the Amazon Labor Union Fund. Yep. For those that don't understand the connection, Amazon owns Twitch, okay? Amazon, the people that run Amazon, are against unions. They don't want their people to unionize, just like any uh, capitalist CEO. They're against workers unionizing and getting better benefits and better pay. Because what, what does a CEO want? What does a boss want? They want to extract as much money as they can. Or, I mean, uh, they want to extract as much time as they can from their workers for the least amount of pay. Uh, and Hassan is trying to fund Amazon's unions. Amazon's going to be anti that. Hassan is an employee of Amazon. It's very interesting paradox that Hassan finds himself in and he didn't really want it to be publicized that he was doing that yesterday when we looked at that clip showing that that he was one of the biggest contributors he doesn't want that being publicized there's a reason why he doesn't outwardly just say that's what he's doing it's not just because like because like like we were saying oh charity socialism oh my god Hassan's like practicing what he preaches Hassan doesn't want to talk about that shit because he doesn't want Amazon catching wind that he's the biggest contributor to their unionization, okay? He doesn't want that. He's going to get fucking banned off the platform. They're going to permaban him. They're like, get the fuck out of here. Um, Odablock gets all of his old school RuneScape accounts banned after recent controversy. What was the controversy? What did he do? Uh... Um, it's, uh, I'm, uh, let me see. Uh, apparently he broke rules a couple years ago. Getting banned for it now. I don't know. Uh, actually, Emily finds out that she is UT Austin famous. What does that mean? The dining hall? Oh, yeah, Jack Harrison. Yeah, he oh. did raise me. University of Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that talk of the town in oh, UT yeah, Austin? Yeah, like, all over our UT story. Like. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's cool. Thank you. Have a good oh, day. Yeah. Bye. You're the one that slapped the dude on the butt. Yeah, I slapped the dude on the butt. I was in the mall one time. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, oh do, do you watch Twitch? Uh, I have Twitter. You have Twitter? Oh, you saw it on Twitch. Twitter? Yeah. Oh, when I spank the guy's butt? Yeah. Oh, that's, I'm so honored. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to like fix this pinata. When is that going to happen? Uh, it'll be like in 10 minutes oh, down there. Okay. And then feel free to come by and hit it. So what if one person just breaks it right off the bat? Then I'll be really sad, but I don't think it'll, I'm going to spit, it'll be blindfolded. Oh. Okay, okay, and that spin. makes sense. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good luck. Uh, Thank you. Uh, nice to meet you. <gasps> Chat, we're UT Austin famous. I, <laughs> man, she's giving me ideas to just go stream at my old university. Like, what? Let me just go do that. Um, Ms. Kiffin Oblivion. 
Uh, yeah, unions are always better. I agree. Feel free to come by and hit. I never had a girl tell me that before. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, shy ex Emily fan gets exposed by his friend. Thank you guys to Grace. Yeah, of course. Thank really you for playing. Sorry, that took so long. Thank you. He's a fan. Oh, he, thank you. He, he was following you whenever you Wait, had a picture, small picture, following. Picture, picture. Really? Oh, shucks. I was there. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> either. What's your name? Ryan, nice to meet you. He's she made it up. No, you're not. You're letting me tell this. What's your name? Kinsley. Kinsley, yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yo, he's in love. Uh, that dude's in love. Um. Uh. Uh, streamer fell down the stairs. Wait, what? Rip. Oh, ripped. Oh, that sucks. Ouch. Yeah, I'm good on watching this. I'm good on that. Uh, Kick uses IVS, AWS. We talked about this yesterday. I was like the first one to talk about it. Nobody was talking about that Twitter thread. Um, Let's see what Zach Bussy had to say. There's IBS. Cause like I said, I was very open with you guys that when it came to uh, like the the stuff that they were talking about about the specific coding systems that they made, I, I'm not super knowledgeable about that. But the summarization of the story is that the more people that stream on Kick, the the cheaper it is for uh, Twitch to host all of our streams on the Amazon Web Services. They're subsidizing us. Um, it's again. AWS is so much bigger than Twitch, though, even if it's... Gaming Slayer. Gaming Slayer. Oh, Gaming Slayer. Gaming Slayer, ask the question. Just ask, okay? Just ask, okay? Just ask. Are you playing Fortnite today? And then just leave, okay? I'll answer your question, and then don't respond and just leave, okay? <laughs> it's the same people it is you're right aws is much bigger yes. i'm just making a joke i love you gaming slayer AWS we'll play fortnite is its soon own company but the, the thing that i'm saying is that ivs is a twitch product sold by amazon operated by twitch so what ends up happening no okay I, yeah of course i'm kidding no i just like yesterday you were like are you playing fortnite today and I responded, and then nothing, and you just left. And I was like, Gaming Slayer, no. He only wants me for my Fortnite skills. Cyrus here says, there's IBS again. AWS is so much bigger than Twitch, though, even if it's the same people. It is. You're right. AWS is much bigger, yes. Yeah. AWS is its own company. The, the thing that I'm saying is that IVS is a Twitch product sold by Amazon, operated by Twitch. So what ends up happening, as Cyrus here says, I help build the Twitch and video CDN. When I hear about Twitch challenges, I still can't help but look at how they are serving video. Today's entrant, Kick Streaming. This was an easy one. They use so, uh, AWS IVS. I think the way it is, is IVS is the CDN that Twitch sold to Amazon. I think that's what it is. IVS is a Twitch video Wait, system. These acronyms were confusing AWS me APIs. yesterday, but... So in short... Kick is subsidizing Twitch by paying to use the Twitch video system via AWS. Ooh, gaming and yes, I too think Let, that oh, IVS play is the that best system, uh, video system for this use case, but paying eight to ten times the cost is not a sustainable growth plan. IVS is sold on AWS. Yes, correct. Okay. So, okay, I understand now. All right. Yeah, yesterday I was really confused with the CDN IVS. I was like, what is this? But, uh... I knew that I understood the, the gist of it. Um, let's see. Okay, I think we're done. Let's play some World of Warships. Was there anything else, just real quick? Was there any other video I wanted to watch? Oh, there was this game that Volk recommended. We'll watch these tomorrow. We've watched enough shit. Oh, there is the Trump interview. Yeah, we'll watch that stuff tomorrow. The Trump interview with Tucker Carlson. I watched some of it. Wild. It, it, I totally understand, though. 
why a bunch of people get debated by Donald Trump and end up like falling for his con man ways. You just listen to him talk for a couple minutes, and if you have no brain, you're just gonna be like, "Oh my god, this is my guy, this is my guy, dude." Um, and you just listen to him talk next to somebody like Joe Biden, and you're like, "Okay, one of these people has their mental faculty still, and the other doesn't." That's that's very true. Um, Joe Biden c can barely speak a sentence sometimes. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, we're done. All right. Let's open up World of Warships. China. Exactly. Exactly.